Hey, I'm Dr. Christopher Ramsey, and I am from Jupiter, Florida, in northern Palm Beach County. So what I wanted to really go over with you, a lot of people that know me know um, how much I enjoy speaking about comprehensive dentistry, interdisciplinary care. It's always been a passion, like many people that are involved with Seattle Study Club. But the other people who know me well as well have known a passion of mine for many, many years is the topic of body language and nonverbal communication. And people always ask me, hey, what's a quick tip? What, what do I need to know about body language and, and something that would help me? And I said, well, the first thing you need to know is that the farther away you are from the brain, the more honest your body parts are. So you can't rely on the face, because we've been telling uh, our kids since they were younger, when you go to your aunt's house, you put on a smiley face, and uh, hence, we've been lying with our faces since we were children. And so I think it's important to understand that the face is terrible, hence the term poker face. And so we look at things like the hands and the feet. In fact, if you look at the feet more often than not, they'll tell you a lot about the patient or the person you're talking to um, because it's the most honest part of the body. You'll never see a depressed person with happy feet moving around. So the feet tell you a lot. In fact, sitting in a chair like this, sometimes you see people leaning forward, their feet are in a, in a starter stance. If I'm having a conversation with somebody like that, I can tell just from their feet position that their subconscious is telling them, I'm ready to get up and move, I'm ready to leave. So sometimes that's a, that's a cue to cut the conversation short. And you look at the hands, there's the common things of, hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. That actually is a well-known thing in body language because we do a lot of things with our hands when we're maybe um, I'm not enjoying what I'm listening to or maybe I'm not enjoying talking to you because my brain is telling me I don't really want to look at you anymore. Or as we used to do when we were kids when we would lie, we would, we would go <gasps> and we would cover our mouths. Well, we still do that as adults. We're just trying to train ourselves out of it. What the one thing we can't do is control our subconscious mind. So the body language cuts in and what happens is a lot of times people will cover their mouths as they're talking to you. So these things necessarily in their own specific unit is not necessarily a sign that something bad is happening, but what it does tell us is that if you're looking for those signs and you see them in context and in clusters, a lot of times it'll help you decipher what might be going on within that conversation and then maybe direct that conversation. Most of this is important around one simple rule. We all do good technical dentistry. And so what we really want is more patients who are going to say yes, and more patients who are going to say yes to the treatment we pose, especially if we know the treatment is the ideal treatment for them. And so what I'm looking for is a way, without the patient really having to say anything to me, non-verbally, I can guide that conversation based on the things I see them do, which are these simple little things that people do, which allow me to say, you know what, I know now what is a barrier or what's making them nervous and guide the conversation di differently. So in body language, look for those things in clusters, but understand the farther away you get from the face and the brain, the more true the body parts are.